Hello students, welcome back to Engineers Academy. Kindly subscribe my channel if it helps in your learning. Now let's solve this particular problem from chapter 13. The problem says that the boy of mass 40 kg is sliding down the spiral slide at constant speed such that his position measured from the top of the fruit has radius equals to 1.5 meters and theta is given as a function of time that is 0.7 t radians and z is given as a function of time as well. Determine the component of force fr of, t, of theta and of z which the slide exerts on him at the instant when t is equal to 2 seconds. Neglect the size of the y. So we are going to solve this problem by using the cylindrical coordinates. So in cylindrical coordinates the radial axis is always acts away from the center of rotation. So this is our the positive radial direction. Let's say this is my positive radial direction that is when the y is going away from the radius so that will be measured along this axis and similarly the theta axis is always perpendicular uh, to the radial axis and it is acting in its positive sense is always acting in the increasing direction of theta. The increasing direction of theta is in this direction that is in the counterclockwise direction if we look from the top. So this will be our theta direction and similarly the z axis is perpendicular to both of these axis that will be parallel to the z axis like this. Let me place it here. So now in the radial direction uh, let us say that the force f is let us say fr. This is fr. And in the theta direction, let us say that the force which is acting on this y is let us say f theta. And in the z direction, let us say that force f is f z. So now it is given that the radius is fixed, which is 1.5 meters. So this means that if the radius is fixed, then the derivative of r with respect to time will be 0 and the second derivative of r dot with respect to time will also be equal to 0. So, there is no velocity and acceleration along the uh, radial axis. Similarly, we are given that uh, theta is equal to 0 0.7 t. So, if when we take the derivative of this theta with respect to time, so that will become theta dot and theta dot is 0 0.7. And the second derivative of this theta dot will be theta double dot with respect to time and this will become 0. So now we can find uh, a r and a theta double dot, uh, a r and a theta using the equation of kinematics. And we have these two equations, this is a r and a r equals to r double dot. So let me find a r, so a r is r double dot and r double dot is 0, so 0 minus r which is 1.5 and theta dot is 0 0.7 square. Similarly, a theta, so our theta double dot is 0, so we will be left with 2, r dot, r dot is also 0, so this means that a theta is 0. Similarly, we can find the acceleration in the z direction, so acceleration in the z direction is always equal to z double dot. So, we are given that z z is given as a function of time which is minus 0 0.5 t. So, first derivative of the z with respect to time will give us minus 0 0.5 and the double derivative of z with respect to time will be 0. So, this means that a z is also equal to the acceleration in z direction is also 0. So, a r is minus 1.5 into 0 0.7 square. This is minus 0 0.735, minus 0 0.735, and this is meter per second square. Now, if we apply the summation of forces along the radial axis is equals to mar, so there is also the weight of this boy which is acting in the negative z direction. So, first let me represent that weight. So, that weight is acting in the negative z direction like this. So, this is that weight and weight is 40 into 9.81. So, the summation of forces along R, so as we can see that this FR is acting in the negative radial direction. So, I will write minus FR 
and there is no other force in the radial direction so this will be equal to mass so mass is 40 into ar ar is minus 0 0.735 so this will give us minus will cancel out so fr is equal to 40 into this thing right so 40 multiplied by 0 0.735 so this is 29.4, 29.4 newtons. Similarly, if we apply the summation of forces along the theta axis, that will be equals to m a theta. So this f theta is acting in the positive theta direction. So I will write plus f theta, and this is equal to the mass. Mass is again 40, and a theta is zero. So 40 into 0. So this means that in the theta direction, there is no force uh, acting on the body of the buoy. So this is 0. Similarly, the summation of forces along the z axis is equal to maz. And in the z direction, we have this fz. So I will write fz, which is acting in the positive z direction. This is the positive z direction in the upward direction minus that weight which is 40 into 9.81 and that is equal to the mass times az and az is 0. So this will become 0. So we can say that fz is equal to 40 into 9.81. So fz is equal to the weight. So weight is 40 times 9.81. So this is 392.4 Newton. So the slide is only exerting the force in the radial direction and in the z direction and there is no force along the uh, theta direction. So we were asked to find this fr, f theta and fz. So this is the solution of this particular problem. I hope this will help you in your learning. Kindly subscribe my channel if you people want me to solve such more problems from Hibbler Dynamics.